Oh, hello, welcome back. Just me again. We're looking right now at a game called Divinity Original Sin 2, where I'm playing as a, as a dwarf, but that's just so we've got something to look at. It's been a difficult few days, um, but I thought I would say something about it because the other day I, I sort of started something about me quitting Clonazepam. So today is Friday. So on uh, Wednesday then, Wednesday, I've, I've been feeling bad with a bad chest mostly. So my voice went kind of, so yeah. Anyway, so on Wednesday evening, I had two seizures quite close together, but they weren't very strong. Now that's what clonazepam, uh, it, it doesn't stop that anymore. I don't need it to stop that. So I don't know exactly what happened, but as a result of that, because of let's let's walk around a bit, and um, because of that, I actually walked. Walked. <laughs> Walking is what my character's doing. Isn't this stupid. Um. Yeah, I went up to the to the hospital yesterday, which is what I'm supposed to do, because I'm giving stuff up. I'm supposed to go and and just tell them hello. Um. This happened. So I went there and um. Uh, yesterday morning and uh, they kept me in for the whole day just to observe and see what was going on and um, so they did that and um, as a result of that I'm back up again on clonazepam full dose which is 0 0.5 milligrams well full dose I mean it's less than I was taking a year or two ago but back up to 0 0.5 from which is uh, like one pill as opposed to three quarters of a pill or 0 0.37 which is what I had reduced to so I'm back up again and I have to see see my uh, neurologist and when I've done that I will be able to I will be uh, sort of getting back to cancelling or stopping or quitting or whatever you want to call it Glanders of Bam again but we sort of have to come up with some sort of plan or something for that it's um yeah it bothers me I'm not very happy but um well, yeah, they don't know why it happened. Um, now, there have been a, a number of things happening. Um, they're sort of stress-wise things happening, death in the family. Um, <clears throat> there is the, the obvious thing of, of stopping the medication. I, but it's been, I've been two weeks now, I think. I think it's two, is it two weeks or one week. I think it's two weeks on the lower dose of clonazepam. So I don't know. I would have expected something before now. Um, I'm going to go to sleep. There we go. Um, but it, for some reason, no, no, nothing seemed to happen that uh, that I could see. Um, the re there doesn't seem to be a reason for me be feeling like like I, I did. So I don't know why it all happened. Anyway, just a combination of things. I do have um, a bad chest infection, which they found, and they they weren't really sure, but they thought maybe I would have to stay in hospital to clear the chest infection, which don't. I don't have to. I'm fine. Uh, they've sent me home. I've got antibiotics. Stay home for a couple of weeks. Go to see the doctor again. And everything should be okay. And so, yeah, that's kind of all right, really. So everything is, I mean, it, things are kind of happening as they were supposed to. In that if something went wrong, I go back on to 0 0.5 milligrams. But it's not very nice. Um so I don't know. I don't know how to feel. I'm I'm mixed feelings really. I mean I'm okay right now, so uh, so that that's a good thing. I'm not happy that I've had to go back up again on the dosage, but it's one of those things. It happens. You know, getting it's a very it, it's not an easy thing to quit. So you know, one of the things I'm concerned about is if I go back up, I'm back up to zero point five again, and I had such a hard time with it coming from zero point five to zero point three seven that uh, it, it concerns me because I'm going to have to repeat that process. Um, I think maybe they will increase my Levisetaram and decrease and then I'll decrease the the um, clonazepam. And if you've messed around with medication before, you'll know uh, when you have something new to replace something old, getting the balance just right and knowing exactly how much to take isn't always that easy. So that's happened. A couple of weeks from now, I'm supposed to be going to England for a few weeks. I've just been working on the house over there. But 
Um, I, I've got a couple of weeks and then I'm supposed to go to the doctor. So I don't really know whether I should. I'm, I mean, it's time to book the flight, but I don't know what's going on. So uh, that's a bit of a bit of a, a mystery at the moment as to what I'm going to do. So I'm sorry. I mean, it's a bit disjointed, but um, I wanted to keep the kind of diary of quitting Clonazepam up to date. Nothing's going to happen that now in that. I mean, it's, it's like two weeks is something's going to happen. But I think probably like in the new year. I'll um, I'll be having another go, um, at least from whether it's increasing the dose of one thing or decreasing the dose of something else. I think personally, I would say right now, this that the the two seizures I had were a combination of things. I think they were re reducing the clonazepam plus that I got the chest infection plus um, sort of some some stressful things. I think it was just bad timing. And everything kind of messed up at the same time. I think it's that. I'm not not worried about it. I think what will happen in the new year, then I think I'll reduce it again. I think it will go back down. So I'm not sounding brilliant, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, even, I mean, they've got the chest infection. But um, I'm trying to get back to doing more YouTube stuff. So I really, really, I need to for myself as well, you know. And that includes streaming, which I should be able to do at the weekend. I've got a bit of a headache sometimes, but I'm basically I'm okay. As long as I don't walk around too much. I've been told to stay inside. Um, so I couldn't go to the funeral yesterday uh, evening. But, um, you know, things happen. Life carries on. Or not. <laughs> and uh, so that's all. Oh, quick word about this this thing. Uh, Divinity Original Sin. I bought it because my wife wanted it. Not because I wanted it. Because I know I... I don't think she understood exactly what it is, what kind of game it is. This sort of, it's turn-based combat. It's like Baldur's Gate and all that stuff. And so, it was, but we'll see. But she's very keen on playing this or something else with me. Probably streaming it. Uh, maybe videos. I don't know exactly, but it's something we've talked about, and she's very keen to get involved and do something on the channel, which would be really cool for me. So I didn't miss playing with her. She, she's got, so I'm kind of going a bit, but she's, um, we, we met online. We played tons of, uh, well, quite a few online games together, MMOs and other things. But um, a few years ago, she, she's got um, um, a bad back and a bit of a curvature of the spine and some of the bones sort of fused together and it's really bad. So she cannot sit at the computer it, without getting about her back getting really bad so that's why we don't play together anymore she just cannot physically do it so now she wants to and she goes to the gym regularly and things like that to strengthen the muscles around her spine and all that sort of thing so she's hoping and she wants to work towards at least being able to play a game with me whether whether she'll we'll be able to play it then and sort of play it online um, uh, on YouTube and that sort of thing. I don't know, but that's what she wants to do. I'm not holding my breath, but hopefully this game will play together. I don't know. Thing is, I've actually played this game. Um, I started day before yesterday. I play it, played it for six hours and I'm still in the first place. And I, I don't know, it, it, it really seems to be a bit tricky. Getting it. <laughs> I can imagine like a 10 hour stream and we're still in the beginning area. If it's just up to me, I'll see. I figured that's why I'm playing it. Cause I figured well, if I can go through a bit of single player and at least find out at the beginning of the game, what you do and a bit of the game can understand more of the game mechanics. Then if we play together, I, at least I'll know what we're doing. <laughs> that, that was the plan. What happens? I don't know. I don't know. But you can see it looks pretty cool. Anyway, so I'm not going on the head. That's all from just me. Uh, so really boring. But as always, no, no, no adverts. So don't like it. Don't care. Don't watch. Right. See ya.